Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a closet organizational video and like doing the Kamari method, minimalizing and all of the fun things. Let's all be happy. <laughs> Alright guys, like I said, to well, I don't know what that was today. <laughs> today, we're going to be doing a closet organizational video. So I have way too many clothes that I never wear. And I've been putting this video off for like 10 years. I should have done this video a long time ago. But I have so many things that I need to get rid of in my closet. So let's go ahead and hop on into the video. So in today's video, I'm going to be utilizing the Kun Mari method, which I believe it's Marie Kondo or Marie Kondo. I've heard it pronounced both ways. So I'm just going to go ahead and share a link down below for you guys to take a peek at that. I'm sure a lot of you are really familiar with that. That, that like method has been around for like five years or so now. It's been a while um, since it really started becoming popular. Um, so I will share that link down below for you guys so you can see what her tips and tricks are. So what I'm focusing on today is I am going to be doing like the longest on the left and the shortest on the right and darkest to lightest clothing um, and then trying to like fold things down and really get them nice and organized. So this is the monstrosity that I am dealing with. Um, I have a lot of my clothes already taken out of here and a Dory pillow. Thank you, Kaya. Uh, so, as you can see, it is an absolute disaster. Mike and I share this closet. <sighs> Hopefully he doesn't get too mad at me for reorganizing. But it is time. It is time to get rid of the things that I do not wear anymore. The things that no longer bring me joy. So let's minimalize and organize. And get these clothes hung up. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love you. 
pause for a second. I just want to go over some of the piles I am creating. <laughs> There's such a mess in my bathroom right now because our closet's like connected to our bathroom. Um, I have been making like piles of like donate and then things that don't even belong in my closet like um, rags and towels and sheets. Um, they somehow get mixed up in our clothes and then I've got a pile for all the kids' clothes and then I've got piles for things that need to be going into the drawers. So I have decided I'm going to reorganize the drawers. I've got two hours before I need to pick up the kids. So that is what I'm going to do now. <laughs> that I am going to try and tackle is I like what I'm doing is I'm just trying to get everything hung up that like I think I want to keep and then I'm going to visually I'm going to look at it and like really decide if I love it if I wear it if I'm going to keep it or if I'm going to donate it so that is what I'm doing next I'm going to go through my folded piles get those hung up put away and then I'm going to go through all of my clothes and pull out what I'm going to give away or donate and then I will organize from um, right to left so longest to shortest and then I will be doing um, like color coding as well and going darkest to lightest.
So my closet right now is set up super weird. We're like, I don't know. There's, I, I don't really understand the concept behind like the setup, but okay. So I'm trying to figure out a place to hang like all of my long sweaters. There's like right across from me right here, there's like a little portion that holds like dresses and like Mike's like tuxes and suits and things like that. And I kind of want to leave that there, but I don't know what to do with like the kimonos and stuff that hang down a little bit lower than all of the other stuff. So I'm gonna kind of play with it a little bit and move it back and forth. I know this isn't going to look perfect. It's going to look much better than it did, but um, it's not going to look quite perfect. So just bear with me as I like get the rest of this hung up.
you guys, that is going to wrap it up for part one. Let's head into the closet. I'm gonna show you exactly what I did. Okay, so this is kind of peering into the closet here. All right, you guys, this is what I came up with for the closet. So I'm actually, we're doing a part two to this video because I actually want to tear down all of the shelving now and completely redo it. I want to stick a vanity in here. I want to get a chandelier in the, um, in the master closet and I want to retile everything. I want to totally renovate it. So we're going to call this a part one to this organizational video. I'm going to head to the dollar store and pick up some cute like bins and things like that and really just like cutesy this space up um, and make it even more organized. Now this is what I'm going to go ahead and call death row. Um, a lot of these things I wear, I'm sure you guys have seen me wear a lot of this in my videos. Um, but there's a good chunk of it that I no longer wear but I just can't bear to let go of yet. I probably got rid of a good like one third of my wardrobe of things I just did not wear anymore. So I have quite the pile, which I will show you guys after this what the pile ended up looking like. I'm proud of myself for getting rid of what I did. Um, I just, I'm like at that point where I'm losing weight um, and there are some like pieces in here that I just can't bear to let go of until I lose the weight and really like see what I'm going to look like. Sorry, Mike is like making the kids laugh in the background. Um, anyway, and then I wanna get some like felt hangers and all of like the total like reorganization and just like closet makeover. So stay tuned for that. But this is what I have so far. Um, I tried going from like longest to shortest. As you can see, there's a couple pieces in here that aren't um, quite where they need to be. Um, I'm trying to feel it out because I like to keep all of my heavy for heavy shirts together here. These are my side slit tees that I wear in almost all of my videos that I absolutely love. And I wanted to keep those together. Um... I've got like these tank tops I never wear in the front, but those are like, if I lose weight, I wanna um, see if I still enjoy them. Probably not, I'll probably end up getting rid of them and getting um, some new ones. I like more like simple, I don't really like the stripes anymore, but anyway. Um, and then I have a bunch of sweaters. I tried to like color coordinate. So I've got cardigans, kimonos, um, sweatshirts, sweaters, and then it's long sleeves and then short sleeves and then tank tops. So I tried to make it from um, left to right, from going longest to shortest, the best that I could, and I color coded the best that I could along the way as well. So let's give you an overview of that floor. Remember what that floor looked like before? Now we've got vacuum lines. This is something else that I really want to work on in the um, like closet makeover video. Um, I want to have a like shoe organizational rack down here, maybe something from Ikea. Um, and then over here on the corner, this is like Mike's little corner. I would like for Mike to be able to see his clothes just as nicely as me. Um, but I want to put a vanity here. I want to cut like this off, put a vanity here, have my clothes here, and maybe like have my clothes here, but I may even move them up. Um, and then, so what I would like to do is like have like a his and hers side. So I'd like this to be like, maybe have like a, like a, like, like cubbies in the middle. And then on this side have Mike's stuff, on this side have my stuff, but like separating them out and going all the way to the ceiling so that there's no shelf up here. Um, I just, and then making sure that, you know, it fits my really long kimonos and my really long, um, cardigans. So just like something for, um, like those on that side and then sweaters, shirts, and then long, and then long sleeve shirts and then cubbies in the middle. And then Mike would have the same thing kind of, um, projected over on his side, um, I don't know. I'm going to draw something up here in the next few days, maybe share with you guys on my Instagram stories. But I'm really hoping to be able to um, put something together here and make it look a lot cleaner. So this is Mike's side of the closet and it is pretty small, like I said. I'd like for him to be able to see his stuff a little bit better. Um, I did take out, he had a bunch of um, pants here. I took them out and I am going to have him go through what he wants to keep and what he wants to donate. Um, and then I want him to fold up the rest of them and like keep them in the drawers as he likes it. He's very picky when it comes to his clothes. So we're just going to let him do his own thing. But um, I have all of his stuff hung up. There is no rhyme or reason to his shirts. Mike likes to do his own thing. So I will let him do his own thing. 
Okay, so moving on to my drawers. I did my first drawer. Um, I have like a bunch of just like lazy day tees. And then um, I would say like a combination of like pajama shirts, workout shirts, and like project shirts. I always have to keep a couple of like rattier shirts on hand um, for like painting projects and things like that because I just can't seem to keep myself clean. So that's what I did for the first drawer. And then the second drawer I have all of my leggings. Um, pretty much all black leggings and then I've got my denim on this side this is all of my denim except for the pair that I am wearing right now I don't have a whole lot of denim um, I just kind of keep my staple pieces but I have a ton of leggings I can probably weed through this a little bit more so again a lot of these are on death row um, and I'm going to go through and see which ones I don't wear I'm going to go through and see which ones I don't wear, see which ones kind of have holes in them that I could probably toss. So this will be um, a much smaller pile here shortly as well. And then my bottom drawer is very empty right now. I am kind of reserving it for um, sweatpants, like lazy day pants, and then shorts. Um, I, so these are my shorts. <laughs> I own three pairs. Um, I haven't been comfortable wearing shorts for a long, long time. I'm just getting back into wearing shorts again since probably middle school it has been a long time since i have worn shorts so i'm kind of reserving this for shorts now that i'm losing weight and i'm feeling more comfortable um, i have a summer haul coming for you guys in a couple of days um, and i will be sharing with you guys some shorts there i've got a few more pairs coming in from target which i plan to share with you guys as well and do like a try on haul and then over here in my side table i organized my pajamas, um, which again, I got rid of most of my pajamas. Um, kept these pajama pants, this Christmas pajama outfit, and this Christmas pajama sweatshirt. Um, I have very little pajamas because I typically just wear like an oversized shirt to bed. Um, but this is what I have for now in my bottom drawer. And I did not show you guys my sock and underwear drawer or my bra drawer. Um, so if you're wondering what's in the other drawers, there you go. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this part one to my closet Kamari method cleaning video. That took me such a long time and there were heaps and heaps of clothes for me to go through. Anyway, so I feel like I did pretty good today. I got rid of a lot of stuff. I have a long ways to go in the closet as far as organizing. I'd like to bring all of my shoes up here and kind of display those. I know that that master closet's not very big, so I'm just going to kind of do what I can with that space. Anyways, thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're motivated. Go clean your closet. Go downsize. Minimize all the things. Okay. All right. If you guys liked this video on my channel, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below with what kind of videos you're looking forward to this summer from me. And make sure that you're subscribed to my channel before you leave so that you don't miss out on all of that content coming out for you guys. Like I said, I just recently quit my job to do YouTube, so this is my sole focus besides the kiddos. Anyways, I will see you guys in a couple days for that summer clothing haul video. Okay, bye you guys.